Hello, Northmore members. Brett Packey here, Director of Instruction here in the indoor studio. And, you know, 25 years ago, I coined the phrase, the off season is really the on season. Meaning this time of year is when we get our work done on our golf swing, we check our equipment and such. One of the features that we can do using the software here at Northmore is work on wedge gapping. And you see my four wedges listed out here. My lob wedge is 58 degrees, my sand wedge is 53 degrees, my gap wedge is 48 degrees, and my pitching wedge is 43 degrees. So for, in the first category, we look at ball speed. Uh, about a 10 mile an hour difference or so between my lob and my sand, and then it drops a little bit between my sand and my gap, and it drops, drops further between my gap and my pitching wedge. As you move through your set, what we look for between like a five, six, seven, and eight iron is a five mile an hour ball speed difference per club. That gets you your optimal gaps. We'll just go over here to uh, the carry distances between my wedges. And there you see my lob wedge carrying about 92. And I have my wedges set close to 15 yard gaps. My 53 degree sand wedge carries 107. My 48 degree gap wedge carrying 123 and my pitching wedge at 135. So my gap, my wedge gaps are uh, just about perfect. Uh, we look at the spin rate on, on wedges. Uh, certainly the higher lofted wedges are gonna spin the most at 11,000 revolutions per minute on downward towards the pitching wedge at 88,000 8, revolutions per minute. So some of the things we can do this winter is just working on wedge gapping or iron gapping and especially the gaps between your longest irons and your fairway metals. So have some fun this winter, come by, check it out, and uh, let's get you set for next season. Thanks.